actually tonight, I am going to be doing my go-to smoky eye look for you. First of all, yes, obviously my background is different. I basically just like 180'd my camera so you are looking directly at what I am typically looking at when I'm filming. If that makes sense. For those of you who did ask on my Instagram what the storage unit is called from Ikea and about the mirror and the drawers and everything I have, I'm gonna link every single detail in the description bar below for you so that you guys can check that out if you're curious about what's happening back here. Um, I'm still indecisive about my permanent background here on my channel and all my furnishings for this room have not come in yet. I don't have my curtains or all my furniture, which is why I still have the echo that drives me off the wall. Um, I do have wood floors and like 14 foot ceilings in this specific room, so the echo is off the chiseling. Anyways, so today I'm going to be doing my go-to smoky eye look. This is actually the exact look that I wore in my August favorites video of 2013. I'll link that down below if you're like, what? I have gotten so many requests for this eye look and I did not realize how many requests I got until yesterday I was just kind of looking and reviewing old comments like I tried to do and I was blown away by how many requests I have gotten for this look and I felt really bad so I was like okay we're doing this. I knew exactly what products it was because I've been wearing this look ever since then and it's so easy, so simple, and it's gonna look good on pretty much everyone, which I always try to make sure of before filming a video because I do not wanna share technique and product knowledge. It's only going to be geared towards certain people and not everyone can utilize it themselves at home. I want you all to feel beautiful and all be able to wear these looks. So I really hope that you enjoy. Try to keep up with me in this video. As you can tell, I'm like a little, Today, more than usual, I'm exhausted, which is why my eyes are like crazy bloodshot. I don't know about you, but my eyes like burn when I'm tired. So anyways, I'm a little all over the place, but I'm pretty sure you guys are used to that if you've been a subscriber of mine for more than five minutes. So I love you guys so much. I'm going to go wash my face. I have a date with a bowl of ice cream and a hot bath. TMI, I don't even care. I love you guys and I hope you enjoy. Bye. Eee, sleepy. Okay, I'm pulling myself together because we have a tutorial to do. I'm starting off with no makeup and a clean face, and first thing I'm doing is priming my eyes for shadow. I am using the Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC. I prefer to use this as my eye primer pretty much all the time because it conceals any blood vessels or veins or redness while priming for eyeshadow. So what gets better than that? Then using a Sigma eyeshadow base. This is in the shade Compose. It's this really nice neutral creamy brown, but when it dries, it's no longer creamy and wet. So it's not going to crease and it really helps keep your eyeshadows more intense and gives it more depth and makes them last longer. I am using an E39 brush to apply this, just some windshield wiper motions, and make sure you get it all the way up into that crease. It's better to go a little bit above the crease than not go high up enough. Just make sure you get it in the crease. Then we are working from the Anastasia Lavish Palette today, pretty much as our main colors. I'm going in with orange soda on a fluffy brush, and I'm going to dust this right above on that line where we ended composed back and forth in windshield wiper motions. You know the drill. How many times have you heard me say windshield wiper motions with a fluffy brush? <laughs> so from all the way inner corner to outer corner, we are just going to go back and forth buffing this out. You can see the more we go back and forth, the more the lines are going to disappear. Then we're going to go in with Sienna, which is a gorgeous burnt red, orangey, rusty color. Using an E38 brush by Sigma, which by the way, both these brushes so far are in the Perfect Blend Kit, I believe, but I'll link that all down below. I'm just going to, again, go all the way from inner corner to outer corner. Then with a clean brush with no additional product, I'm just going to blend everything out so that nothing is harsh. Then going in with Rum Cake, which I am obsessed. And the same E39 brush that I used to apply Compose Eyeshadow Base, I am just going to run this all along that area from inner corner to outer corner. I love this color. Oh my gosh. I wish that I could buy it separately. It is so beautiful. It just glows every time I wear this eyeshadow. I get endless compliments. It is just so pretty. Then I'm gonna go in with eyeliner. I started off using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and then I actually switched over to Makeup Geek Immortal because Immortal is the blackest black gel liner in the world and I wanted it to be black. So you can see I just traced the eyeliner and then filled it in and then bada bing, bada boom. Then I'm going to go in with false lashes. I'm using Velour Lashes and you can see the difference, voila. 
They are so natural and fluffy. This exact pair is Strike a Pose, my absolute fave. Then using Tarte Marajuku foundation. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. I'm going to buff this all over my skin using a Sigma F80 flat top kabuki brush. And let me just say, oh my gosh, without giving too much away, this foundation is my absolute obsession. So as always, you can see the foundation obviously does not match my skin, but it matches my neck. So I did go over my lips just to cancel out all this coloration on my face. And then we're going to kind of like go over top of that and build up to bring the color back. Then I'm going to go ahead and conceal my under eye area, again, using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and an F86 brush from Sigma to buff this out. I just love this brush so much for my concealer. It is the best brush I've ever used because it just picks up any excess concealer and it pretty much makes it, oh yeah, let me poke myself in the eye there, pretty much impossible to have cakey concealer underneath your eye. It just, it's perfect. Then going in with Bare Minerals Stroke of Light in the shade Luminous 2. This is a very nice sheer highlighter and I'm just going to place it on the high points of the face to highlight. So the forehead, the cupid's bow, the chin, around the nose, and around the lips where we all hormonally tend to get red and blotchy. I'm going to just highlight those areas and cover them up just to fake it till we make it. Blending that all out with my same foundation brush. I like to use my foundation brush to blend out highlights because I think it ends up looking much more natural than using a whole separate brush because getting a mixture of the foundation and the highlight usually makes everything look a lot more natural. You're probably like, natural? Where? Anyways, I'm going to comb through my brows and I am using Anastasia Brow Wiz today. I will link my brow video down below for an in-depth tutorial. I am using the shade Ash Blonde on the inner corner and then Caramel on the outer corner. I've been loving, loving the Caramel shade recently. These two combined, I just adore. Anyway, so as you can see, I'm just going to go ahead, fill in, and then brush everything out to give it a more natural appearance. And then I'm going to sculpt and shape it a little bit just by using some concealer on a flat definer brush just to help with the highlight and just to sculpt them out a little bit and bada bam, done. Then going in with the Anastasia Contour and Highlight Palette, I am going to use this banana shade and mix it with MAC Pro Emphasize. As you know, I have used Emphasize forever to highlight and I just sometimes feel like it's too easy to get a very heavy hand. So mixing it with this banana color is just like made in the shade perfection. It is the best highlight color and it's just going to set my under eye concealer so nothing moves or creases. Then I am using Smashbox Suntan Matte Bronzer and my NARS Eda Brush. I know last time I mentioned the Eda Brush and I got a lot of comments from you guys saying that you couldn't understand what I was saying. So Eda, I-T-A Brush. I absolutely love this brush. I've raved about it for quite a while. And I am just going to sculpt the face with an eye look like this. You can really make your contour pretty dramatic and get away with it since we've got that whole dramatic eye look going on. Then I'm just buffing it out with a Marc Jacobs foundation brush. I believe this is the foundation two brush, but again, I'll have all that information below. Then I am just going to take that same sienna color on a small little tiny bitty brush and I am just going to line that whole lower lash line all the way to the inner rim. With this look, you really don't want to stop halfway through. You want to bring it all the way in just to make that eye look pop and really make it look smoky. Then on a pencil brush, I'm going back in with a little bit of orange soda. And this is where you just want to blend, 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 and blend. No fear. Just keep blending back and forth. This is really important when doing any sort of smoky eye. Then using Makeup Geek Mocha, which is just a super dark, true brown this is such a necessity color in anyone's makeup collection because it really helps amp up any smoky eye. I'm just going to put that on the outer corner just for more dimension. And then I'm just going back and covering up my eyeliner because if you could see, I was having shadow falling all over it and it was turning into a little bit of a hot mess. Then we're going to go in with MAC Nylon, which is a super intense highlight, but we're just going to barely touch it on the very top high point of that brow just for a little bit of highlight. I like that it has a little yellow in it, but again, it is intense. So make sure that you do not just like slam it on your face because it'll be like disco ball. So highlighting those inner corners just to give a little bit more pop and then just mascaring the bottom lashes. I'm using Rimmel Lash Accelerator. 
And then I'm going in with the Kardashian Chroma Stick in Baby Doll. And I am obviously just going to apply this. You guys know exactly how to do this on yourself, I'm sure. And then I'm going to top it off with one of my Favy glosses at the moment, which is actually by a company called Whitening Lightning. And this is in the shade Nude. And yes, it does have a light that is shining on my lips right now. And I am just going to top that off. I absolutely love this combination of these two together. It's my favorite at the moment. And then I know everything is going so weird, but I'm going to go in with Margin Blush. A little confusing. Normally you do this before lips, but whatever. I told you, I'm exhausted. Try to keep up. So just hitting Margin Blush and blending it in with that contour, going backward, but you want the main color to be on the apples of the cheeks, but just keep blending. Okay, try not to fall asleep there, Jacqueline. Then using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal with just one small swipe, we are only going to touch this on that high point of the cheekbones and blend it out. We don't want too much that's overwhelming to this look. And then once we have it on the cheek, then we'll tap it on the chin, and the cupid's bow and then just a tiny bit on the center of the nose up towards the top where it's more flattering boom this is an extra bonus you don't have to do this i just wanted to recommend that instead of doing a basic black you could use something like costa riche by mac which Kim Kardashian's makeup artist used on her about three years ago, and I've been in love ever since. It's this gorgeous burnt red color, it's this nice, deep, warm brown, and it just gives an extra pop to this look, as opposed to just using a basic black in there. I really like this alternative. So I really hope you guys enjoy. I love you so much. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.